there is hurt you get to choose how you feel and what you do and what you believe that is what makes life so exciting and when you give your power away to others by allowing them to make those choices for you so you give up the right to paint on your own canvas you put down your paint brushes and allow others to paint your picture of life for you so when you do this you literally numb a portion of your senses you no longer have that zest for life that you once had so in essence you turn out the light from within that makes you shine so brightly so if life is feeling bleak and you feel like you have lost a part of who you are then you may be giving other people permission to live your life for you this is a form of people pleasing and it can be seen in every area of your life it happen when you don't allow yourself to think and believe what you want to because the rest of the world might not agree it happens when you say yes to something when you really want to say no and it happens when you want to feel a certain way about something but someone else tell you that you have no right to feel that way and you believe them it is a time for you to reclaim your life so you get to choose how you feel what you do and what you believe honor that and take back your right to paint the picture of your dreams so dear souls know that someone deeply regret their decisions of not choosing their true happiness they are all set to plan so this person on your mind and the one you have been dealing with was in a third party situation ship so they were blinded to all the efforts you had been putting into your relationship over the past so many years so it is a possibility that either you or they were married to someone else or their marriage was creating blocks in your union so you both felt an instant connection when you both meet for the first time there was an unspoken attraction between you so it felt nice and warm to talk to them and you thought you would just carry on with them this way until you both started to fall in love with each other so the person was also interested in taking the relationship forward you both crossed the lines with each other in terms of getting intimate physically emotionally but as the days passed you felt like they were not taking any action in making your relationship into an official one it was then that you pulled back your energies and you got assertive with them so this lead to an ending between you now they feel lost they don't know what to do they are not able to release the third party as they seem to be an official contract and on the other hand they cannot release you from their life as well for them you giving them an ultimatum has shocked their world 
they know they need to take action quickly or else they will lose you forever this person is now taking a break from you and the third person and quite focus on healing themselves so they know they need to work on their self confidence and take action at the earliest they are also getting epiphanies and revelation about you from the universe so next few weeks they will come out of hibernation and will approach you with an offer so dear souls know that there is connection that facing some temporary temptation this temptation are test for both of you before getting into the next level so everything was fine and all suddenly you feel like it hits the break or tower moment this connection has strong foundation but none of you have such a good past experience when it comes to love and relationship some of you might wondering if the past will be repeated the highest spirit wants you to trust and believe in your heart not your fears or head space it is would not and you know it so if you are unsure where to go it is clear that this relationship deserves a second chance the blockage or issues are not coming from this person or you but something from the past that projecting to the present energy hence why you too feel stagnant in low vibes or unable to move forward so this connection hold a strong opportunity to create the happy family and grow the strong bond to one another So if you are going to a rocky patch trust that this situation is actually bring both of you became more closer So dear souls know that for someone your victory has come heaven has your name mark and there is a sudden turn around coming in your situation Your life is about to change in a beautiful way. You faithful child, God faces is turned towards you. You are ready to receive. Now watch the impossible became possible right before your eyes. So dear souls, know that When we see dead ends we he sees new beginnings when we are in the middle of a bad day or disappointing moment it is so tempting to give in to thoughts like it is over or it's too late but it is not too late it's never too late to have a fresh start when you have a life increased So today is a new day it is a new opportunity to finish that project mend a relationship get back to your exercise routine So I encourage you to look at each day as a chance to start again when you wake up declare things like this is the day the lord has made and i will rejoice and be glad in it So God is the God of do overs, second chance and new beginnings and if you will let him he will give you a fresh start and it will be better than you can imagine So following Jesus has the opportunity to be a journey of perpetual wonder a life of wonder is a person fight attitude and approach that says what good thing will god do next 
so it welcomes exploring the unknown because of trust and confidence deeply rooted in the nature of jesus for some that sounds like an exhilarating adventure of faith and risk for the kingdom of god so others might notice feelings of anxiety fear or insecurity is starting to surface the reality is that following jesus often comes with mixed emotions sometimes we feel strong courageous and completely secure in god other times we feel more vulnerable so regardless of your season you can always take heart from jesus the leader of your faith adventure So coming to know your good shepherd's nature and character is the ultimate goal of your spiritual journey. So this type of spiritual knowledge builds faith in God and forms you for the loving purpose he dream up for you. Consider Abraham who did obey God by faith and he did not know where he was going but had a faith in his travel partner. He could not have understood his call but trusted his heavenly father sweet and authoritative voice. So to equip yourself for ministry to others it is wise and necessary to prioritize intimacy with Jesus in thrilling yourself with his love meditating on his goodness throughout scripture so and caring for the hurts needs and desire of your own soul knowing the nature of the lover of your soul empowers you to continuously practice abandoning outcomes to god so willingly relinquishing your day to him instead of forcing things foster awareness deep trust and a lifestyle of perpetual wonder so you can trust that when jesus leads you into a season of inward spiritual renewal it will lead to an overflow of fresh ministry when the time is right